Welcome everyone to Navigating Financial Aid. We are here at Cerritos College and we have a financial aid specialist from Cerritos College, Leo Lopez, who has generously given a few minutes of your time to help us navigate quite possibly one of the most, um, not complicated when you got Leo mm -hmm. next to you, but can feel complicated, you know, um, from the outside world. So let's dig into financial aid here. Step one, what financial resources are available here for students? That's a great question. So first, our, our main goal is to make the process not complicated for students and parents. Um, so um, we offer a ton of resources to students. Uh, the federal, there's federal grant money, there's state grant money. We also have institutional grant money in the form of scholarships. Um, so it's our job to navigate students through that process, uh, helping fill out applications to apply for those grants and scholarships, um, advising on deadlines and uh, specific things like that to keep everyone on track, to ensure that their uh, funding comes in on time to help you know pay for their schooling and, and get them started on their educational journey. That's great. And, and it's so great because, um, you know, I'm thinking about even myself, like I wouldn't know one of those pieces at, at the start of this. So I guess my question is when a student applies or a student reaches out, I'm interested in applying. Is there is there something they need to do to get this conversation going with some, Leo, you or someone on your team? Or does that naturally happen? Does that make sense? It, it naturally kind of happens. Um, we do a lot of work with our local high schools to um, get students doing the FAFSA early. Um, it it come, becomes available every October. Um, so that, that's kind of the early application period where we want to go out and um, provide assistance to people to get their applications done early. So then that way they just meet that good time frame and hopefully um, you know qualify for financial aid to help pay for their schooling. Uh, the main way to find the information is going to be online. So at the Cerritos College website under the financial aid page, uh, we have links to the uh, free application for federal student aid, which is the FAFSA. And we also have a link to the California Dream Act application uh, that will uh, help undocu students qualify for certain state grants. Yeah, that's great. And so along that process, students, you know, they've, they've um, gone online, applied, kind of like created their, their account. Do they need to reach out for that next step for you to get involved or does that automatically happen? Yeah, so the, the good thing is once the student adds our school code onto either their FAFSA application or their DREAM Act application, we get a record of that um, electronically. And then from there, as long as the student has a uh, Cerritos College ID number, we will then reach out to them through their student center portal, which will give them more information on how to uh, go about the next step, which would be step two. And that's submitting additional documentation for review to uh, ensure that everyone um, you know, has the right information on their FAFSA or DREAM Act application to see what they're eligible for. That's awesome, that's awesome. And so, and I just gonna go with the assumption, Leo, that at any time during this process, if you are potentially confused or where do I go, just call. Call, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, we're available over the phone. We have uh, Zoom hours. We're also in person. So there's multiple ways to get a hold of someone in our office. Uh, we also have emails available. So um, ev everyone is encouraged to reach out. It, it can um, get a little overwhelming for first generation students um, that you know don't have any older siblings or maybe their parent didn't go to to a college so they don't know how to navigate the process, but that's why we're here. So it's definitely encouraged for you to reach out to the financial aid office uh, to get assistance if needed. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now, there's also on top of, um, you know, financial aid, there's scholarships, mm -hmm. right? And there's opportunities for that. Can you talk a little bit about that? What's, yes. what's so we, other opportunities? Uh, we partner with the Cerritos College Foundation Office who offers the institutional scholarships. Um, so uh, many of those scholarships are going to be uh, for for a bunch of students on our campus. So incoming freshmen, there's there's uh, scholarships geared towards them. There's scholarships geared towards uh, continuing students here at Cerritos College and also transfer scholarships for the students that will be transferring from Cerritos to a, a university. Um, so they have a website on, you know, on the Cerritos College website, um, they have a page there where the student can fill out their information and apply for scholarships. Uh, many of those scholarships are based on you know certain majors. So if you are in a let's say STEM major, there's there's specific scholarships for STEM, and, and they range in um, 
in the uh, award amount from anywhere a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. And, and that would be on top of the additional federal and, and state grants that you may also qualify for. So after, um, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm coming to school here. I want to come to school here. I'm getting the FAFSA and I'm getting the financial aid. Is, is, are they already looking at who I am as a human to decide if I'm going to get scholarship or is there a, that an extra step that they need to take and do you help in that process? That makes sense? Yes, yeah, so there, there will be a separate um, scholarship application uh, that you would do. So um, if it's an outside scholarship or through the Sears College Foundation, there's gonna be an application. Um, some of those applications may, uh, may require uh, recommendation letters. They may require any uh, financial documents just to kind of make sure you, you fit a certain income criteria. Um, some may be based on GPA, either from high school or, or now continuing through college GPA. Uh, so usually the, the instructions to apply for those scholarships are gonna be on the, uh, on the page where you're applying from. Uh, and so that, that's gonna provide most of the information there. And then uh, again, if, if any help is needed, you wanna contact us to uh, walk you through that process. Yeah, and I, 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 I was about to, I'm glad you just said that again, Leo, because I was, that was in my head, it's just like, imagine, we understand it can get a little complicated, be complicated for anyone, and know that this, this, this Serious College really is a family, and everyone is looking out for each other, and you, you sense it here, so just like, that for making that first step and making a connection, you know, it's like calling the office or writing the email in and just saying, hey, you know, I'm having, you know, can you help me with the fab soap? And or, hey, what other scholarships are available? It's like that little step out there, you never know what type of opportunities and what can get paid for. Is that right? Exactly. Is that like yeah, just, there's... It's, and sometimes it can feel, I know it. Like I talk to you, it's like sometimes it can feel a little, I don't want to make that first step, but you make that first step, then you got a whole team of people to help navigate you through it. Exactly. There's there's a whole bunch of money out there for students to uh, help you pay for your college education. And uh, I mean, the first step is just applying. So that, that's where everybody needs to start is you need to apply um, and then follow up with the financial aid office in order to see what the next uh, next step would be. It's awesome. Love it. Is there anything I'm missing, Leo? Uh, no, anything? I think we covered you think we got yeah, everything. I think we got All right, everything. Listen. Yeah. Thank for, thanks, thanks for having the college tour here. Thanks for taking a few minutes to just talk and do this, um, do this video. And uh, just want to thank, thanks for everything. It's been awesome. Yeah, no Love problem. Thanks for having me. All right, take care, everybody.